Here is the kettlebell clean. Now this is the next step after doing the kettlebell clean pull. The next step is to swivel or pinch the elbow to your side at the same time bringing your thumb to your shoulder, knuckles to your ceiling. And that will create that rack position where the kettlebell will spin and land softly like you're placing an egg in the basket. Remember, good hip hinge position with our swing, hike, snap, bring the bell in. As you can see, each time I really bring my elbow down, I shoot my thumb to my shoulder, and I bring my knuckles to the seat. Every time I really extend at the hip or throw my hips forward, that gets the bell to float. I give it a slight pull, bring my elbow to my side. At the same time, I bring my thumb to my shoulder. I've got a loose enough grip where the bell can rotate, but it's not too tight where it's catching any of my hand. To stop the bell is the same as before. The bell comes underneath, sit down, let the bell come in front of you. That is the kettlebell queen. It's a great move. It's a little tough. Be patient, loose grip, and let the bell spin around the forearm. If you'd like more coaching cues, hit replay the next time you come to this exercise.